What is happening, guys? It is Saturday, and we are not at the Hack and Pack Shop. We are at the Newark School. We're out back here in a football field, or soccer field, and we're going to give this little thing a, a little run today. It's got a NASA light controller, and I've been screwing with this thing and screwing with this thing, and I don't know if I have it quite right or not, so we're going to give it a little test flight here on camera. Uh, I got a GoPro just kind of... <laughs> Ignore the tape. I don't have the gimbal hooked up yet, so the tape's just kind of holding that camera. So I've got a, um, the GoPro's on right now. It's the first time I ever used this GoPro, so let's crank her up. I'm going to try to control this thing with one hand. I don't know. Actually, I'm just going to set the controller right on the ground. I think it'll be easier. Hopefully I'm not going to give myself a haircut here. And up she is. Looks like she still needs a little bit of screwing with here. Alright, we're going to let the GoPro take over for a minute now and then we'll come back. This camera on my phone literally sucks and it's hard to control this with one hand. Looks like it's flying pretty good though. Alright, we're gonna let the GoPro take over and then we'll come back. I've got a, um, the GoPro's on right now. It's the first time I ever used this GoPro, so let's crank her up.
I just got it sitting here hovering. I'm kind of doing a battery test too. This thing should auto land. So once that battery starts going dead, that thing should come down on its own. So I don't know how much juice is left in it. Spin it around here. the wind's blowing it around a little bit here. It's hard to control this and hold this camera at the same time. Looks like my little LED battery came out of the trap. All right. There we go. I just seen it red there. And we're giving it some juice. See how it's blinking red? That's telling you it's going dead. So this thing should auto land without me touching the controls. Might take a minute or two. Looks like it's flying pretty smooth though. This is the first real flight I've done with it. Screw around a little bit in my backyard, but it's been, uh, it's really tight back there. Still not touching the control. Hopefully she won't do a front side or backwards flop. There it goes. And there she wrote. Pretty cool, right guys? I'll just shut her off. Sweet! Alright. Back to the shop. Back to the drone doctor shop. Later. Off.